Good day and All welcome right, back to this. another DBZ Dokken Battle video. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Universal Survival Saga Super Battle Road stage and how you can complete it completely free to play. So we're back onto SPR. We obviously have done an absolute massive dent into the Legendary Goku event challenges and uh, I think we cleared 10 of them, 11 of them. So we've done a huge amount of the free-to-play Goku challenges, so I thought it's time to bring back some SBR stages uh, and see how we can go with the third set of SBR. So things are starting to ramp up. Uh, I think the third set of SBR are definitely uh, probably were a meta shift in the game. Not too difficult, like not too crazy, uh, but they introduced some new categories. They you know, kind of changed things up a little bit, so they were quite challenging, at least some of them. I know the USS one traditionally was very challenging uh, due to the strength of the team at the time. But yeah, we're definitely going to be trying it out uh, and obviously completing it with a fully free-to-play team. Luckily, there are some excellent uh, free-to-play uh, Universal Survival Saga units, so we actually have a pretty decent time. But let's talk about leads and let's talk about team build. So, in terms of the friend lead, pretty straightforward. We're going with the Assassin's Ultimate Technique hit. Uh, after a ZZA, a very strong unit, 170% lead for the Universal Survival Saga. Has the ability to stun, the opposition has the ability to reduce their attack and defense, and also, of course, does a tremendous amount of damage and because we have quite a few universe 6 units on our team there's a small chance that we could proc his aoe stun which occurs when he enters the turn and quite frankly would be relatively helpful uh, in taking out the stage so would be pretty interesting uh, to have hit do that you could choose a lot of the universal survival saga leads i just thought it would be a lot of fun to try and use hit especially considering i've recently used hit uh, in a review that I did of him at max level. So let's take a look now at the free-to-play units on the team. So in terms of free-to-play units, the free-to-play lead that we're going to be using is the new Instinct of the Awakened One, Goku Ultra Instinct Sign, and that's the physical UI Goku, a very strong unit uh, that's a 77% Universal Survival Saga lead. He raises attack and defense, causes supreme damage to the enemy. He is a support for the Universal Survival Saga, and of course he has attack and defense of 120% with a high chance of evading the enemy's attack as well. So pretty good stuff, uh, honestly speaking. Really, really, really solid. Uh, he has the link skills of Kamehameha, prepared for battle, experienced fighters, godly power, tournament of power, the first awakened and sharing the limit. He's really solid. Um, he's kind of just going to alternate, float around, uh, and really just kind of, you know, do his thing. He's not specifically going to be a designated rotation, like rotation unit. Then, as our first very solid rotation, we are going to be rocking uh, the Shattering the Limit of Spirit and Tenacity Master Roshi, who is uh, obviously our LR lead that we will not lead, but our, our LR, the free to play LR Master Roshi. A uh, pretty good unit, defense of 120%, medium chance of evasion. Uh, total school category allies get 40% extra attack and defense and 3 key. If HP is 50% or less at the start of the character's attack in turn, and there's another 2 or more total school category allies, we can revive with 60% HP, uh, which we cannot do on this team. We don't have 2 other total school allies. Uh, and obviously, his, we've got this active skill, uh, which isn't really that easy to proc, so we probably won't get it. Uh, and overall he just does some pretty good damage, not to mention he seals and has a great chance of stunning, great chance of stunning on his 12 key, sealing on his 18 key, which is actually pretty helpful. Uh, it is going to make him quite a strong, helpful unit. Alongside him in that pairing we've got Master Roshi and Tien, uh, a pretty good unit, attack and defense is 70%, also a sealer, so giving us a lot of control and lowers attack and defense as well. Uh, they also build up 20% attack and defense with each attack received and give reps of universe 7, category allies, key plus 3, and attack and defense of 40%. So some pretty solid stuff. Universal Survival Saga um, is 
pretty strong as a free-to-play category. You know, if you really want to break it down, I think they're pretty damn strong. And they do a pretty good job. So, alongside or as the next rotation, the second rotation that we're really going to be using is the Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla and the Super Saiyan 2 Kale. Now, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla gets attack and defense of 30% up to 160 and 15% evasion up to 60% per USS or Universal Survival Saga category ally on the team. Also has an additional attack of 70% when there is a character whose name includes Kale on the team. And she will launch an additional attack which has a medium chance of putting a super attack if that ally is in the same turn. So we run her with Kale and she can do some pretty decent damage. Uh, they both share basically as many links as they can and Khalifla also raises defense by 30% for 3 turns on her super attack which is pretty helpful. Super Saiyan 2 Kale is a bit of an interesting unit. She has attack and defense of 120% when performing a super. Universal Survival Saga category allies get 30% attack and defense and 2 key. She has an additional defense of 70% when there's an ally whose name includes Khalifla running on the team. And she also gives all allies a little bit extra and some crit chance, 16% if Khalifla is attacking in the same turn. So pretty good little pairing to run together, especially with the extra crit chance. Uh, it tends to work out pretty nicely and overall they're pretty fun pairing the rock together. The final member of our team is the Super Saiyan 2 uh, Kaba. Now SS2 Kaba is pretty solid. Uh, basically just a good damage dealer and has a very high crit chance uh, basically while he is floating in that third slot so honestly nothing too like nothing too crazy Cab is just a damage dealer like a massive damage dealer and that makes things a little bit easier now obviously the big thing about the USS is that each stage has at least three or more enemies which is quite challenging actually uh, final stage has four, the second one has five, and the first one has three, and they're all different typings. So to counteract this, you do generally want to use some items, try and set yourself up, try and eliminate at least one or two units when you can, uh, try and obviously seal multiple units, which we do quite nicely with our team. Uh, but yeah, generally you want to try and keep as much control as possible. Uh, if you can, you nuke down one of the units, uh, and then if, with the other units, you seal up two of them, and you tend to have a pretty good time. That at least prevents you from taking a huge modicum of damage, uh, but it's not, of course, guaranteed. So I like to use ghost ushers and things like that, especially when I have to do some sealing or some setup with utility. Busting some ghost ushers tends to make things a little bit more consistent. It allows me to really kind of control the flow of the battle and really get things going. So I would say overall, definitely something I would consider if I'm someone that's obviously doing their best uh, to complete this stage. Now free to play wise uh, we consume probably a lot more items than if we weren't doing it free to play but it's okay uh, it's really not too much of an issue Icarus will be fine, Ghost Dashes, all of that is more than okay. And yeah that's uh, basically it we get our Dokan attack, our all out attack and we incinerate the enemy and we are literally good to go. So. Pretty easy, pretty... Well, I don't want to say easy, but the uh, Universal Survival Saga free-to-play roster is very strong. And this gives us so much control during the fight and pretty decent damage. So we tend to make pretty quick work of this stage. So yeah, that is going to be it from me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Uh, remember, we will be doing no item runs of the Fighting Legend Goku event now and completing a couple more of these ESBR and then I think we might look at the ESBR or the Gods of Destruction events. I'm not too certain next but we'll see. But that's it from me. Bye!